This is a short introduction to the circuit test regulated DC power supply explaining the outputs, adjustments, and voltage verification by John Anson's Copyright 2014 All rights reserved This DC power supply has three outputs. The first one is a fixed 5 volt output that can have a maximum draw of 3 amps. This one is a variable output that will go from 0 to 30 volts with a maximum output of 3 amps. This one is also a variable output good from 0 to 30 volts with an output of 3 amps also. So we have three outputs here. These shiny jacks are connected to the earth ground or U ground for the AC receptacle. They are not connected to the black jacks or negative DC terminals of the power supply. They are independent, so this earth ground is not connected to the black jacks. With all of the knobs turned fully counterclockwise, I'll turn the power supply on. You'll notice that these red lights in the current section have come on, CC, constant current. So if I just turn them a little wee bit, they'll go, the red light will disappear and the green light, constant voltage, CV, will turn on. So this is kind of like a current limit control, the amount of current that I can let this jack have with a maximum of 3 amps. So normally I set these to maximum. To adjust the voltage on the left side or under what's called the slave side, I use the coarse voltage control. And then if I want to fine tune it, I can use the fine control. So I can set this roughly to 10 volts. There we go. To control the output of this one, I'll use this coarse voltage button to set it to 20 volts. And I'm close, I'll use the fine button to bring it right in. And we should have 20 volts here and 10 volts here and a fixed 5 volts here. So let's measure the voltage of the power supply. So let's check this one right here. 5.03 volts, that's pretty good. So that's a good stable supply. You can see when I adjust the voltage here, my 5 volts doesn't change. Let's see how close I am to the 10 volts. Okay, so the meter says you know, almost 10 volts, but my digital multimeter says, uh, well, it's going to 10.7879. 10, 10. Okay, so let's just adjust it using the fine control. There we go. We're pretty close to 10 volts there. And that's good. Let's take a look at the 20 volt supply. Now I might have a little problem here because I might be a little bit over and I must be. So let's just uh, move this. Let's just see if we can bring it in. Okay, 19.99 volts, that's close enough to 20 volts. You can see that the meter display here is reading a little under 20 and the 10 volt, I set it to 10 and it's also reading a little wee bit under. So it's always a good idea to adjust your power supply using the digital multimeter for uh, accuracy. What I'd like to do now is show you a little more about this button here, the current control button. So what I've got is a panel light here and I'm going to connect it 
using these meter leads. Okay, you can see the light bulb is on, so I'm just going to put it down. And you can see I'm drawing right now about one amp on the ammeter gauge. And watch what happens when I turn this little button counterclockwise. You can see the constant current is going around. My voltage is dropping. My current is dropping. So that's actually controlling the amount of current that's going to the light bulb. Watch what's, what it's actually doing to the light bulb. You can see, oops. You can see the light bulb getting dim and brighter. So this is actually controlling the current to the light bulb. Feedback and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching.